one. When an abnormal wind speed alarm occurs, we need to use tools to identify the specific cause of the abnormal wind speed. The anemometer and the air volume hood are used to measure the actual values of the down current and the inflow current. We need to adjust the speed of the equipment fan if huge difference occurs when comparing the measured actual value with the nominal value of the wind speed on the nameplate of the equipment. If the measured wind speed data coincide with the nominal data, then there might be error in the parameters during the process of system alteration with software and the null point of the pressure sensor. All you need to do is reset the sensor data. Two. When the measured data shows the measured down current, the nominal value and the measured inflow current, the nominal value. Under this situation, we need to direct increase the fan speed. Then, how should we increase the fan speed? First, we need to enter the administrator interface. Press the set key, OK key, and write key simultaneously for three seconds to enter the administrator settings page. The initial administrator's password is 2012. Press the down key. Select the fan setting line to enter the fan speed setting page. Use the up down key to select the line and the right left key to select the number. After selecting the number, use the up down key for increase or decrease. For an alternating current fan, the smaller the value is, the greater the speed would be. For direct current fan, the bigger the value is, the greater the speed would be. For the 1200 2A2D products, we need to adjust the DC internal and external fan shift. Adjust the DC external fan shift for the external exhaust fan. And adjust the DC internal fan shift for the downflow current. For the 1200 2A2 product, we only need to adjust the internal fan shift. Three. When the measured data shows the measured down current, the nominal value, and the measured inflow current, the nominal value. Under this situation, we need to directly reduce the fan speed in the manner as mentioned above. Four, when the measured data shows the measured down current, the nominal value, and the measured inflow current, the nominal value. In this case, there is no problem with the measured data, but the safety cabinet still displays airflow abnormal alarm, which means there is no problem with our actual air current. We need to re-offset the sensor parameters to cancel the alarm. Usually, the number of falling air current of the computer board comes from the wind speed sensor in the work area. If the alarm interface shows a down current anomaly, we only offset the parameters of the wind speed sensor. The data flowing into the computer board is derived from the data from the pressure sensor. After the computer board acquires the pressure sensor data, the inflow airflow data can be figured out through consulting calculation table. Therefore, if the measured wind speed is normal, but the computer board displays abnormality, we only need to offset the pressure sensor parameters. The method for offset the parameters of the pressure sensor is as follows. 1. Initiate the safety cabinet and observe the negative pressure value under steady state. 2. Determine the current negative pressure value corresponding to the current wind speed according to the correspondence table for wind and speed pressure and calculate the difference between the displayed pressure and the regulated pressure. 3. Enter the administrator interface. 4. Select the sensor value offset line, press OK to enter. 5. Modify the values of positive pressure offset and negative pressure offset according to the calculated values. 5. 
After adjusting the wind speed according to the above method, it is necessary to recalibrate with an anemometer and then prove the calibration is qualified.